A Sorsegi volcanic system in the Reckinus Peninsula of Iceland is probably the most uh, studied uh, uh, area in the Iceland for volcanism. And this is for a reason. We had nine eruptions there and we are waiting for the tenth. The amount of the earthquakes in the area of the Sorsegi, which is to the left of this uh, animation I've created, shows a decline in the earthquakes. That means the magma movement and bubbling of it is less. And in the Christovic area, it is the next volcanic system. You see the lower part of the center when the, uh, sometimes the green um, star appears. We see also a reduction in the number of the earthquakes. Subsidence has decreased. GPS data show the land rise is also slowing down slightly. Uh, we have measured it since the uh, July, and you can see those uh, little dots, black dots, shows the measurements that we have made. The shaded area shows if the current trend continues, but if the reduction that we are seeing continues, the reduction in the inflow of the magma, the red line shows that. And both of these also uh, are possible in a way, but I have analysis of what may happen next. That is, in addition to what the, my colleagues in the Icelandic Meteorological Office have uh, estimated and base their analysis on. This is based on the several, multiple um, GPS stations from the Sorsengi to the uh, Torbjorn and uh, two other more in that area. All of these points to a possible date for the next eruption around the late uh, December or January next year. We will see that late December of this year January next year. This is the analysis that I have. Based on the level that we reach the eruption, level of the magma accumulation, these are the GPS data you see that. For the several stations, if we have to reach that level and pass it for the eruption to happen, the extended line shows the approximate date. And this is my analysis based on that. We see the inter inter interferometer grams also, which is the same as the GPS data in a way measured by the satellite. A very uh, interesting similarity between the risk assessment uh, hazard map and the uh, um, land uplift due to the magma accumulation here. You can see that I superimposed them on, each, on top of each other. Risk assessment based on this has not changed. It stays the same. We have a higher risk in the fissure area for the eruption. There is a big un uncertainty about the next eruption. So the volume of the magma is up to now 15 uh, million cubic meters. That is 45 megatons of the magma, basaltic magma density, 3, three multiplied by 15. Uh, there is uncertainty about this, of course. In the Christovic volcanic system, the subsidence has slowed down. That means the, uh, probably it means, in my assessment, probably it means that we have the process of the creation of the magma reservoir is gradually uh, finalizing itself and we may have the process of the land uplift. We have to see subsidence is reduced. It may mean that there is something, there is an inflow of the magma gradually uh, taking place in this volcanic system, which is the next one after the Swartzing, if we just do, uh, ignore the Fergadestrial, which was a really odd one among all of these things. So let's just wait and see. These are the updates.